Peace everybody, welcome back. It's Jamal Sleep with Tula Bay. Today we want to talk about studying, right? How to study. Uh, and I also want to go into a little bit of history on um, like the NAACP, uh, the Bureau of Indian Affairs, and some of the wars that took place that they say are Indian wars and they try to uh, not make the connection between the so-called Indians and the so-called blacks. So I kind of want to talk about that. Um, and first, I wanted to start off by reading Caveat Emptor by Prophet Noble Ali and a few other things to be, to be proclaimed at every meeting. Um, so Caveat Emptor is, Moors are men, upright, independent, and fearless, who care for their loved ones and follow the Prophet to a destiny which is not uncertain nor unknown. They are fortified by the impregnable doctrine built upon love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. It is therefore folly at its greatest height for smelly culprits with their insidious plans to invade such a realm. They try and try, but their own bad planning brings down wrath upon their heads like the sword old Democulus had. Intrigue and scurrilous cunning find a difficult path to travel within the ranks of the Moors. This is so because the Moorish movement has been well planned by Prophet Noble Dr. Ali, whose latent powers are abundant unknown and may be called into action as a matter of defense at any moment. Prophet Noble Ali knows the people within his ranks who are interested. They are the vanguard of the movement as the Moorish hordes increase here in America. All of the Moors are active, not passive. A member's interest can only be in one direction and having traveled over the road years before, the Prophet knows where every member is along the road. A few feet below, is another road where schemers work, where traders grin, and culprits bask in the sun. They think they are on the same road with the true Moors, but the Moors are high above on a pinnacle where they might view the destructionists as they fall for the last time and their bones bleach in the, in the sultry midday sun. Hungry scavengers flying high, catch scent, devour and leave crying out, caveat emptor, cast out the dead carcass, the Moors high above see the plotters, purveyors, and the worst that exist, hurl themselves downward by their own works as the hawks wait. So that was caveat emptor. This is the, to be proclaimed at every meeting. I'm glad to know that I have a few faithful Moors among you all, and I desire for them to know the truth and the divine truth. There is a host of jealousy about me and the movement now by some people of, on our side of the nation that claimed that it was a joke and unreal. But now since they found out from the government officials of the nations of the earth that this is the only sole foundation that all Asiatics must depend upon for their earthly salvation as American citizens. They are working every scheme they can to disqualify me so that they may take charge of the situation. I have notified all these, all these things to you long ago in the past. It is through faithful Moors that attribute to the Moorish, excuse me, to the movement and upliftment funds, the ones that paid their divine respect to me and the movement, will be remembered. This is why I'm calling upon all faithful Moors to increase their faithfulness to me, your prophet, and your divine Moorish movement. I need finance and I need it badly. Never before have I needed finance so badly as I do at present, so I can shove aside the discord that is facing the nation. It comes through jealousy because of my fame and nobility. The nations of the world will not recognize the movement without I, the prophet, being head. It has been proven by my works, which I have performed in the past few years. Prophet Noble Dragon. And this is to members of the Moorish Science Temple of America. This is the instructions from your prophet, Noble Drali. Be faithful unto your fathers, your forefathers' divine and national creed, that you will be blessed for your good deeds uh, that you saw in the flesh. Allah is the one that judges the world, and His judgment is on now. But the weak cannot comprehend. But the weak can comprehend it not. The end of time is drawing near. So says Allah to His divine prophet, I Nabudu Ali. And that's why many hearts have turned to stone, and many have eyes to see but cannot see, ears to hear but cannot hear. Least they be confronted by their excuse me. Least they be confounded by their sins. These are the trying hours now, dear Moors, and every evil spirit is moving. 
and they are trying every weak mind to overthrow and drag out the true foundation that has been laid and to cause confusion in the minds of the ones that do believe. But if you have the true love of Allah and the spirit of your forefathers, you fear not what you, what you hear or see, but will, fact, but will sacrifice the utmost of your very life to protect your movement and your prophet. Watch your enemies, dear Moors. Your enemies are the ones that speak against your prophet and ridicule him to the very lowest. And the ones that speak against your divine and national principles of your temples Act accordingly, and Allah will bless you for your good work. Peace. Your divine prophet, Noble Drali. Prophet warns all Muslims to be read in every meeting. This is the last one. I hereby inform all members that they must end all radical speeches while at work, in their homes, or on the streets. We are for peace and not destruction. Stop flashing your cards at Europeans. It causes confusion. R remember, your, cards, your card is for your salvation. Failure to obey these orders will be, severe con will be of severe consequence. We are for love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. And when these principles are violated, justice must then take its course. Any member or group of members who hold malicious feelings towards the temple or the prophet or violate the divine covenant of the Moorish movement will receive their reward from Allah for their unjust deeds. All true Moors will and must obey the law as laid down to them by their prophet. If they lose confidence in their prophet, they should turn in their card and button, cease wearing their turban or fez, and return to the state where I, the prophet, found you. This is a holy and divine movement founded by the prophet Nubudra Ali, and if the prophet is not right, the temple is not right. The prophet, therefore, is sending out the divine plea to all Moorish Americans that they do their part in protecting the, their prophet and the temple. This is an everlasting move, movement founded by the Prophet through the will of Allah to redeem his people from their sinful ways. Peace. Now there's a, there's a lot of stuff in this. Like, um, when I first started learning, uh, studying Drali's works and what he said makes sense. Like, there's literally people out there, Moors, wearing turbans and fezes, trying to cause confusion, saying like, oh, so-and-so doesn't teach Noble Drali more science. Mm -hmm. Noble Drali never said that this is his more signs. Mm -hmm. There's also certain mores that say, um, you know, only through the temple will can you can you get saved. When Drali never said that, he said it's only through the Moors divine and national movement comes your salvation. Mm -hmm. The temple is subordinate to that. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, you know, caveat emptor, the, the, they 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 fail through their own bad planning. Like you're you're not even mm -hmm. on point with with the prophet saying that at all. Yeah. And they know it. You know what I mean? And even like uh. Like there's just so much, so many key points that he mentioned. Like it's like the certain Moors out there doing the work, mm -hmm. and they talk, and certain certain Moors trying to discredit them. Like they're doing the work. What do you? Yeah. Like How why are you jealous of their them? fame and nobility? Yeah. Just like you know the same people that are jealous about the prophet's fame and nobility. Why don't you just do the work? Mm -hmm. You know, um, like Durali was on it. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> so much can be said about just those four things, and there's many, there's many more things that the prophet wrote and said, but just those four little things that I just read, so much more can be built upon that. It's, it's, it's incredible. But anyway, that's knowing that is crucial to studying because then you, because then there will be no confusion. Mm -hmm. Knowing what the prophet laid down, there would be no confusion. Like I was talking to someone yesterday, or the day before yesterday, and she was asking me, we we're talking about the Adam Chamber. I haven't been through an Adam Chamber, but I'm not dumb, right? So, um, some, it was something along the lines where she thought just by being in the Adab chamber you become a sheik. Mm -hmm. But a sheik is a, an elected position. You don't just become one. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. the Adab chamber doesn't mean you're you're any elected anything. It just means you you're in that you have that knowledge. That's all it means. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Even even like in the uh, in the Bible when David was to be king, mm -hmm. you know, Allah chose David, but the people still had to elect him. And then even when Drew Ali was on the scene, he was talking about he's going to choose um, the Supreme Grand, Grand Council members. He said, I'm going to choose these you know, men and women who are tried and true, and then tomorrow you're going to elect them. Mm -hmm. You're going you're gonna to either choose them or not. Mm -hmm. So again, the people have to choose. Like, mm -hmm. be, even, even like the title Bey or the title Il, like there are titles of nobility, but if you're going to be actual like a Bey, which is like a governor, if you're going to actually be in that, you have to be elected. You can't just, uh -huh. you know, the people have to choose that. Like, <laughs> 
I'm starting to see like some of these temples are just like their own little group, club, club group. They're just handing out, all right, I was the grand sheik, mm -hmm. so I'm just gonna hand it to you. Like that's not how it works. Or I'm, yeah, I'm a sheik, I'm a hand. For yeah, you guys. that's not how it works. It's and and I'm not. I haven't been to a temple. I haven't been to an adept chamber. But I was in the military. I know. I mean, the military is a little different, but I know like structure. I know mm -hmm. governmental principles. Like even in the constitution, like you gotta elect. The, the mayor, the mm -hmm. the governor, like you gotta elect these people. They're not just, well, I mean, in the democracy, they're chosen, but it's supposed to be by the people. Yeah. So again, just because you're in the adept chamber don't mean you're a sheik or whatever. It just means you have knowledge. Mm -hmm. So that's what that's one of the important things of studying. You know what I mean? Getting yeah. the foundation first and then seeing who's doing what. Mm -hmm. Not just... It, yeah, there's there's even, so many people, it's like, even if you think about the education system, you can't be in the sixth grade before you went through the first grade. Yeah, yeah. So. And and that like that goes back to my other video. Are people want to go from zero to 20? Yeah. It doesn't work like that. Uh -huh. I'm not even at 20. Yeah. I don't even know if I'm at one, but mm -hmm. I'm trying, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, like for me, when I first started learning this stuff, well, not first, but after I started, you know, hearing a few things about, okay, I already know that's getting repetitive. Then I started joining like different groups and started seeing like what people in the groups were saying. Mm -hmm. And at first, it's a little confusing because it's like, why are these people arguing about what yeah, can't be confused. argued? Like, yeah. yeah, like the prophet said this. Why are you saying that? Like, what are you talking about? Mm -hmm. And then read caveat until like, and what the prophet says, like these people are here to cause confusion. Mm -hmm. And then you, you know, you do the history on the CIA. They pay people, they fund people to cause confusion. Mm -hmm. And then read the the Rex eighty four. They put certain minority leaders in certain positions mm -hmm. to slow things down. Yeah. Like it's, it's what like once you it's one thing to be told something, but then once you read it and then you see it, you know, man mm -hmm. knows not by being told. Then it's like wow, mm -hmm. like people really are against their own people. Like I don't get it. Yeah. I don't. That's something I just don't get. But um, yeah, studying. <laughs> <laughs> and I think for me, studying wasn't just reading reading something. Like let me see. What can I use as an example? Just start with, are you confused about your what, my ancestry? Book? Oh, this one? Yeah. Are you in denial of your ancestry? Yeah, denial. Like, I didn't read this book until, like, I was watching lectures first. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, okay, I see what you're saying in the lecture, but now I need the book so I can learn more. Because mm -hmm. I feel like the teachers are supposed to give you, like, the like the concepts or, the like, the blueprint, and then you're supposed to build your own temple. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I feel like... Most people don't know where, where to go. Mm -hmm. I, I don't really know how, because if you're watching like lectures, just study what they're saying. It's, <laughs> you know, it's our people don't know how to study mm. at all. And I went through that struggle in high school when I started college. Like each time I realized that I really don't know how to study mm. at all. And that, that was something that I had to figure out yeah. as I was going. So like, Speaking from that perspective, when people say study, 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 it's like, how? Yeah. Like, uh, and that's what they mean, how, how? Yeah. Well, I don't know how to study at all. Here's an example, right? Drali, our prophet, he was an Egyptian adept student. Mm -hmm. He was a student. So he had masters, masters teach him something. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like, you have to go to someone who knows and they'll, they'll like, all right, let's say we're talking about law, right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to say, you know, we, we talk about law, oh, you know, my art, the scales, balance, whatever. But I'm going to say, read the Constitution. Mm -hmm. You're going to read it, and then you're going to come back to me with questions. And then I'm going to be like, okay, then mm -hmm. go this way. Oh, what do you think about this? What do you think about mm -hmm. Article 1, Section 8? Oh, do, mm -hmm. don't you see how, like, Congress isn't laying and collecting taxes, the IRS? Mm -hmm. Now, oh, let's read the, the thing about IRS not being government. Do you see that connection? Mm -hmm. you see the fraud now? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that's kind of, you uh -huh. kind of need. And just, and reading one, something once, yeah. Doesn't mean you don't read it twice and three times yeah. and four times. Just keep rereading until you understand it because yep. it doesn't studying doesn't mean you read something one, one time. time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like for me, uh, in the military, they do something called ditties. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like a little song, right? So um, we had a test every month in boot camp, and we were there for three months. Uh, so one of th one of the things they were they would say house to house, street to street, mm -hmm. right? And then we would, re we would reply, sir, house to house, street to street is the battle of Way City. So on the, on the test questions, it'll say, 
what battle in the whatever war was known as uh, the battle going house house street to street and then we would know based on house house street to street is battle away city mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so it's kind of like yeah you you like how many persons in law two types of persons you know what i mean like it's kind of like it goes hand in hand like yeah. that's the question that's the answer mm -hmm. like the little ditties help me like it's like i remember it first i memorize it first and then i <coughs> mm -hmm. like to me that just makes more and sense. that's what everybody needs to do is come up with their own study methods yeah, yeah. or me for instance i'll read and go through whether I get it or not. Mm -hmm. Any word that I don't understand, Look I write up. it down. Yeah, yep. I and write it down on the list. I don't have to do it right then and there. Yeah. But the second time I read it, I should have looked up those words yep. so that I have the that so reference that paper connection. to go back and forth. Yep. When I was reading um this book on history of Rhode Island, there was two chiefs, and they said one of the name was Sagacus. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. And the other one was Canisius. Those aren't. Those are Latin names, mm -hmm. and you know, uh, Sagacus means gifted or having practical wisdom. I didn't know that, so I had to go. I had to, first. I went to like a regular dictionary, mm -hmm. and then it was Latin, so I had to go to a Latin dictionary. But I had both of those in front of me anyway. Mm -hmm. You know, so for studying, you have to have multiple dictionaries because mm -hmm. English is really Latin. So you have to have yeah. Latin. A Latin <laughs> dictionary is more Latin, so you have to have it. You know. Um, and then Canisius is just. It's like ecclesiastical law. So these two. Indian leaders have Moorish Latin names, so mm -hmm. they must be Moors, you know what yeah. I mean? And their names mean something, mm -hmm. you know? So it, it just, it, it's more than just this is what his name was. It's, mm -hmm. oh, this is what his name means, yeah. you know what I mean? So it, it paints a better picture, like, oh, clearly they're going to have someone who's, you, let me see, like, who's, uh, who has practical wisdom to be a chief, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like, that makes sense, and it makes sense that his name will be that, you know? Yeah. Like, it makes sense that some of these Indians are called Saga Moors. Mm -hmm. Sa Saga is really sage, and then more, so it's, it's a wise Moor. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? It, 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 but when, if you don't have the etymology, if you don't know the rules of Etiman, you wouldn't even think to look that up. Mm -hmm. And Etiman is the real definition of words, you know what I mean? So and they don't teach us that in these so-called state public no. schools. The, the first time I ever heard that word was from you. And the first time That's I heard crazy. that word was from Taj. Mm -hmm. Connotative linguistics, denotative linguistics. Like I said in my other video, I never heard no so-called black leader, or I know he's not black, I never heard none of our black leaders talk about the difference between connotative linguistics and denotative linguistics and etymology. I never heard that. Mm -hmm. And all these so-called doctors talking about they got degrees, but they're not teaching us how to yeah. read, how to learn on our own. Like It's great. I never even thought about the concept of studying... Language? Words? The, the <laughs> original form of anything. Yeah. I was like, it's in the book? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And and now I'm like, well, how? Where did you get that information yep, from? Exactly. Let me go look that up. Yep. Where's the source so I can mm -hmm. go see for myself? Yep. Not because you told me. Mm -hmm. And and one of the things I realized, well, I see is like, our people, we graduate these so-called high schools, these high schools, and just because we know how to pronounce words, we think we know how to read. Mm -hmm. And that's not reading. The etymon, etymon, E-T-Y-M-O-N. That's reading. Mm -hmm. That's knowing what the words mean, not, oh, I know how to say caveat. Mm -hmm. I know how to say caveat emptor, what does it mean? Oh, it means buyer beware. It means this, we're not playing around with this stuff. Mm -hmm. It means this is serious. <laughs> mm -hmm. either, either, you, either you study first and then you go out to the world, mm -hmm. or you get one thing and then you go out to the world and you don't know what's going on. Yeah. You know, so mm -hmm. caveat emptor is not, you don't just go out and don't even know which degree of knowledge you're on, or, don't even know if there's multiple degrees of knowledge. You don't just you don't do that. And a lot of people do that. Like those, they think that they know something, so they'll just parrot it. And then, what what, what have you done with it? Yeah. You know, yeah. You, you just you know it. But what, how far did you take it? Mm -hmm. Like what what did you do with it? Yeah. And I, a lot of people have that problem. Yeah. Like oh yeah, I read this book and <laughs> and I have this idea, but what have you done to make that happen? Yeah. And you know? especially you don't want to put yourself out there like. Because somebody else told you something. Yeah, yeah. One, you don't know if that's true or not because you didn't go look it yep. up yourself. And two, you can't go try to teach somebody else talking about these niggas went up to these niggas. And yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what? Using using slang yeah, to. Yeah. How? What are you talking about? Yeah, with no scholarship. Mhm. Mm Thinking you know something, and one of the things I I realize is like I'll tell some some people some things, and then they'll parrot it, and then they'll ask me to fight their battle that they were fighting with some other person. Like, yes. I'm not doing that. Either yeah. you take what I said and you look it up, mm -hmm. 
or don't like I'm not fine. I'm not cleaning up your bathroom. That that's like what I told you yesterday. Yeah. Um, a friend of mine, you know, I share what I learned with her. Um, and I walk in. I, I walk in and she's having an argument with somebody about, oh, as soon as I walk, you know, aren't the, aren't the first Egyptians black? Mm -hmm. And I was just like, what? <laughs> so she's, she's having an argument with another woman, a very religious woman from Egypt. And her husband turns to me, this Egyptian woman's husband turns to me and goes, you think the first people in Egypt was black? And I was like, I think the first people in Ikupta mm -hmm. and the father and mother of civilization is um, Moorish. Yeah. Yep. And he turns to me and he goes, yeah. And I was like, and you know, here in America, a Mexum, yep. North, Northwest of Mexum, the so-called black people are Moorish. And he goes, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> okay. But he let his wife just no, argue no. it. And then he turns to his wife yep. and goes, shut up. And she just completely zips her mouth and everybody was so confused. Like, and he puts his head down and starts working. Mm -hmm. Like, but you let your wife run around talking just about- Just arguing. Yeah. Not even arguing, debating about. Yeah, and he was very matter of fact. He was like, yes. Mm -hmm. And then, like, yeah, everybody like, knows that. Is this a composition notebook? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'm like, but before I walked in, you were letting everybody have this conversation, yep. Just have this argument their, their about ignorance. yeah, whether or not the people in Egypt are dark. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> like, <laughs> and you're like <laughs> you're like a hint off of European. Yeah, yeah, like, and because most people don't know, like the Moors had them had Europeans in bondage, and through like millions of them being transported around that area, they started to mix. Mm -hmm. They they think some type of mutation happened where our nose got thin because it's winter and like no nah, like mm -hmm. read a book stop believing what these so-called scientists say uh -huh. we know we're miseducated but we're gonna believe these scientists like mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah but i was but even even still it's scientifically proven mm -hmm. by um some chinese or korean scientists he he did this whole mission i'm, I'm yeah i'm doing that he because <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know exactly uh, where it is, but they basically proved that all uh, all DNA origin is from Africa. But we we already know that, yeah. and our people yeah. already know that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's like it's just this this veil of ignorance that like they don't. I feel like our people. Well, I don't feel like I know they don't. They don't back things off of like real books. Mm -hmm. They'll back it off of like some Negro book that some sellout wrote. Yeah, yeah. And then they don't even know black means pale, so clearly the Egyptians aren't black because mm -hmm. they're not pale skin. <laughs> like, and that's also just another way for Europeans to write themselves in history because black means pale. There's no original pale person on this planet. Yeah. And our people need to know there's a difference between black and darkness. Close your eyes. That's darkness, not black. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Inside your mother's womb is darkness, not black. Yeah. That's just a fact. Turn off the lights, it'll become dark in here. It won't be black. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, like, there's really a difference. Our people need to know that. But, um, I've heard some people say they'll, like, whenever I try to study, like, if I'm walking to the library, I'll drink a lot of water first, mm -hmm. and then I'll go. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I'll take a shower, like, I'll take a shower in the morning, clean myself, drink water, clean myself internally. You know the water that they have is garbage, but I try to boil my water, I'll, I'll make tea, mm -hmm. and then I'll go. Mm -hmm. And then like, if I'm reading a book, let's say, like there's been times where I've been in the library, and I was reading like the history of Rhode Island, and uh, I'll read that and I'll go to another book, and then like, I'll, I'll be trying to make the connections from the other book, mm -hmm. and there'll be no connections, I'll start getting a headache, so I'll stop. Yep. And I'll go home. Mm -hmm. That or, for instance, when I'm, looking at things or reading things. If it's too much for me, then I watch a little YouTube video yeah. in between, like re re-energize myself and then yeah. go back at it. Yep. Like stop <laughs> whenever you like yeah. there's no there's no like real like you have to do this. You have to mm -hmm. study for one hour straight and then you have to write down what you study for three hours straight. And then no. nah it's the point is just to do it at all. Yeah, yeah, just to start. Mm -hmm. Just starting is And then you'll the best. find your rhythm, you'll yep. find your routine. Like I'm very 
ritualistic. Mm -hmm. I, I like to have a set routine. Yeah. So, like we were talking about sitting at the same place at the same yep. coffee shop, yep. parking in the same place, yep. going to the same uh, place yep. to study the same. And I talked about in the in the circle seven, like man needs a pattern to follow. Mm -hmm. You know, just like all right, make sure you drink water before you read every time. Mm -hmm. Make sure you you get the the dictionaries that you need prior to opening up the book that you're studying. Mm -hmm. Make sure you got your notebook so you write down words you don't know. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Just make sure, like there's certain things you must do, like get multiple dictionaries, mm -hmm. but you know, studying for an hour straight and then writing for two hours straight, like you don't have to do that. Mm -hmm. It's good to do that. That'd be great if you do that, but it's not like yeah. off rip you have to do that. Yeah. That's like saying, yeah. yeah, I want to join the track team. All right, you have to run 12 miles. Mm -hmm. I never ran before. Start off with 100, 400 meters. That's you know? like, I was telling you, um, a lot of people say they don't have time. Yeah. I, I'm very busy. Mm -hmm. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very busy. Where you at? Work? Yeah. Oh, where you at? Oh, the library? Oh, damn. <laughs> well, that's because I, I'm adding the library into my routine. Yeah, yeah. So even if it means, okay, I, I can pack something at home or I'll pick up something in a drive through but that will allow me to be at the library. Mm -hmm. So I'll I'll eat driving or and so so that I have an hour in between work and yeah. I, I realize I have a little library right down the street from where I work. Yeah. And and <laughs> and you know what's funny? I wouldn't even like before I started studying stuff, I didn't even know that there was a law library. I thought all libraries just had everything. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not like there's a, literally a law library. Mm -hmm. I didn't even like I wouldn't even think to know that because uh -huh. I didn't know it. Yeah. But once once you're exposed to it, it's like wow, all this stuff exists. Mm -hmm. And there's there's parts of the library, the regular library that I, I never knew existed. Yeah. The history of Rhode Island. Like, yep. I didn't know that was there. I didn't yep. know they kept maps. I didn't know they kept public record. Mm -hmm. Like, I was in the fiction section, <laughs> and I was in the movie section, yeah. the TV section, yep. all, all, the computer lab. Like, and that's I, where most of our people will go to. Mm -hmm. And when we went to the library the other day, well. We were at three different libraries that day, but we seen the children playing video games. Yeah. Going to the library just playing video games. Like, you can do that at home. Go to the library, read a book. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it's like, if our people don't have the foundation, like if the parents don't have the foundation, mm -hmm. then there's a 99% chance the child doesn't. Mm -hmm. Especially with these European schools, 1902, Frederick T. Gates, General Education Board, they're not going to teach us fundamental yeah. anything. Yeah. So it's like, there's a lot, there's a lot that we have to fight, mm -hmm. like externally. But most of it is internal, like. Right? Yeah, that you you have to be able to, if you want it. Yeah. Take it. Yeah. And I'm I'm not talking about stealing. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, like, if you if you want knowledge, mm -hmm. then go get knowledge and don't let anything stop you. Yeah. <laughs> that, like, this this past week, with the whole Christmas and everything, and you know, work obligations and mm -hmm. personal obligations. I've been so busy, but. Like I told you, like I, I drive back and forth to work yeah. or running errands, yeah. listening to these videos and other videos, and I put them on uh, two times the speed. Mm -hmm. And it's hard to get used to, but you know you can work your way up because they have 1.25, 1.50, 1.75, yeah. uh, two. But I listen to a two hour video at twice the speed. Now I got it done an hour, a half yep. an hour to work, a half an hour back. It's possible to study. Just you gotta, you have to set it up. Yeah, like you just, you, ha you you just have, have to really do it. work for it. Yeah. Or last night, there's a website called uh, called naturalreaders.com mm -hmm. online. So I took took a book that I was reading, took the PDF because I mean the PDF, yeah the PDF, um, and put it on naturalreaders.com. It reads it for you. Yeah. So I'm having <laughs> gifts while listening to this at a speed. Three times and, and all you have to do is actively listen. Mm -hmm. You know, yep. just actively listen. Yep. And then if you're not actively listening, your subconscious is going to get it because you hear it anyway. Yep. And just because I played it and I'm listening to it doesn't mean I'm not going to go back and reread it. Yeah. It's just going to be easier the second time like, I read it. Like when you told me you read my book, like when I was talking to you, you said, This isn't my first time reading your book. You read it like three times. Yeah. Because like, there's so much of, not, I don't want to say so much. Yeah. Um, it's all new material concepts to me. Mm -hmm. So I'm breaking the chains that are on my mind to, to you know, think outside of the box mm -hmm. and actually use my brain. So a lot of things that I read, I need to go look up yep. 
and oh now I get the concept like I call you about it all the time like I, things that I've read mm -hmm. or you, that you've told me I, I get them later on yeah. and I'm like oh now this really makes sense and that's to how me. it's supposed to work mm -hmm. but like the point is I set you up with like the concept mm -hmm. and then you you verify that concept like is mm -hmm. this true or not yeah. and then it either either you're, while you're trying to disprove it or prove it you're learning so it doesn't mm -hmm. matter yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Either way, something's gonna click. And the the point of it all is to just start. To just do it, yeah. Just start. And it, it's helpful when someone says, "Oh, read this book," and think like, "Oh, if, if you really think that these Europeans brought us over here, read this," mm -hmm. and it'll tell you it was the other way around. Mm -hmm. And and since you talked about winter, I want to talk about this, the whole Santa Claus thing, because in our cultures everything was based off um, like agriculture. Mm -hmm. So when you talk about the sleigh, that's the Big Dipper. Because uh, the Europeans use our ancient culture and they use our like sciences and they use the, the energy of the planets and, and the star, right? Mm -hmm. And the stars. They use that energy to drain people. Like you were saying, the whole Christmas thing. Oh, I hate it. Christmas isn't about buying gifts. It's about this. Mm -hmm. It's about knowing that this is coming. Because there's certain, there's certain uh, seeds that you can plant, like grapes. Um, mm -hmm. I was reading so, one of the instructions on the grape packs that I have, and it says, like, refrigerate it for, like, 30 days mm -hmm. and then plant it. I'm like, why would I refrigerate it if it's snowing outside? I can just use the snow, and then before spring, I can just plant accordingly. Mm -hmm. That's what this is about. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not buying gifts. It's about mm -hmm. knowing, okay, based on what's happening up there, I know what's going to happen down here. Mm -hmm. Like, summer, right? A little bit after the solstice, uh, 4th of July, which is the helical rising, rising of Sirius, that's when the ground's most fertile. And if you look at your plants or just around that time, like they'll shoot up more. They'll grow way, like they'll shoot up. <laughs> yeah. So clearly there's something going on with the roots. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Clearly there's something going on with the energy up, up there. Mm -hmm. And they use that energy on the people. Like 4th of July, then everyone's partying instead of farming. Mm -hmm. When that's when you're supposed to do farming stuff. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is when you're supposed to, you know, and, and this time, you know, Thanksgiving, you're thanking for the harvest. Yeah. Not some so-called Europeans coming over here. That's not what you're yeah. doing. You know what I mean? But these stories are for children. Like, oh yeah, this, the sleigh, Rudolph with your nose so bright, won't you glide, guide my sleigh tonight? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, that's really, it's, that's what it's really about. Mm -hmm. Up that, there, yeah. not, not some European with some beard. Oh, well. Santa should be black. Santa should be wet. What are you talking about? That's why we were like, when we were talking last night about the Bible, and we were mm -hmm. like, the stories are for children. Yeah, yeah. So, so that you can understand the concepts as yep. a child. Yep. So when we take things so literally, like, this man said this, and yeah, it's like, no. it's, it's not about that. It's, it's energy. It's about the story. Yep. It's about the con. It's trying to get you to understand the concept. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I, I always have this argument that the Bible is a history book. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and like, and a... cosmological, like mm -hmm. if you look if you look at the sky, you'll see the Big Dipper is facing this way compared to Polaris. You'll see it. Mm -hmm. Depending on where you're standing, you'll see this. Mm -hmm. Like this is like a this is like this. If you're looking straight up, if you if you're at the North Pole, if you're looking straight up, the Big Dipper will, will be that way, and you'll be like, okay, yeah, I know what season it is. Mm -hmm. But based on like where you're standing on the Earth. Then you'll, all right, I have to clearly have to turn, you know what I mean? Like, fix it to where your perspective is, to where you're standing on the earth, to, so you can know what season it is. Mm -hmm. That's this. That's the compass in the square. Yeah. Literally, it's so you can make a map. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know? But I want to talk about that because our people don't know the energy. Like, they're so, they're so saying, like, this is just the white man's holiday. No. Yeah. It's your culture, you just don't know it. Mm -hmm. And they're saying it's there, so you, you're distracted on this on this hate thing, like, oh, F like, I was in a lot of these so-called conscious black groups just to see, like, what they were saying. Mm -hmm. You want to zoom out? Because I don't know if it's... No, so, it's oh. uh, Like, they talk about, like, those, as an example, there was a group of Europeans wearing, like, African garb, doing African dance, and the black people, the conscious black people, like, oh, they're still on our stuff, fuck them, this is abomination, but you're not, so you're not practicing that culture. Yeah. And then you know that you're the original people on the planet, there's nothing else to copy except for us, mm -hmm. they're honoring our stuff, and you're mad? Mm. Like, that's like, we have a, that's like, I have a son, right? Mm -hmm. 
and my son's doing what I do. Like, why are you doing what I do? Do what you do. Like, mm. no, stupid. <laughs> you know, and then Jor Ali said, I desire my people to love instead of hate. Mm -hmm. Realize it's your culture. Mm -hmm. They're practicing it mm -hmm. because it's the only culture on the planet. Yeah. Stop saying they stole it and they're... That's like all these holidays. They're, the origin of all these holidays are ours. Cosmological. And it, I kind of take that um, when I'm studying too because mm -hmm. it's fun to go find out how how that belongs to me. Yeah, yeah. I think, I, in my eyes, I'm like, I'm taking it back. Yep, and that's exactly what we're doing. Mm -hmm. Taking it back. Don't argue whether Santa Claus is black or white. That's a game. Don't argue whether it's pagan or... Mm -hmm. That's a game. Pagan just means villager. Yeah. And yes, the villagers needed this so we'll they know how to, the, how to feed their people. The origin, the root of the and, holiday and in the first place and be like, oh, that was ours. And it's as above, so below. Mm -hmm. Whatever is happening up there is happening down here. Mm -hmm. Just... Stop arguing frivolous arguments that get you nowhere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like I heard, well, I heard Santa was really this person, mm -hmm. and he did. He really does this, and <laughs> Krampus is gonna come. Like, what, yeah. are you what are you talking about? <laughs> like, why are you even having that conversation? Yeah. yeah. When clearly, Big Dipper is doing this, so you know what season it is. Mm -hmm. So you know that okay, I need to, based on you know a few more sun cycles, I need to start planting these seeds. <laughs> and then realize like these Europeans are using their energy, literally it's energy, mm -hmm. literally, so that you spend a lot of money, which isn't really money, on stupid things. Mm -hmm. So you can feel good for this a little bit of time, so during the rest of the year until the next holiday, that mis you're, since you're miserable, you get to cope with the holidays and it just it yeah. purge exactly all your energy on useless is. things. Exactly and it's easy to figure out, you can see it. And everyone knows it, like, oh, I hate the holidays, so much stress, like, so why are you practicing it? Mm -hmm. Oh, I hate drinking, it makes me, it makes me feel sick, but why are you drinking? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, and that's part of studying, like, study yourself. Yeah. If, if you realize you, you don't want to do this, then don't do it. Yeah. That's, that's the hardest, hardest thing. One, our people don't want to listen. They, they want the answers, but they don't want to listen to the answers. Yeah. And two, they don't, they the don't want to study. Yeah. They don't want to, yeah, they don't want to do any work. They just put all your knowledge in my head. And and that's like the uh, like the Masonic story with Hiram Abiff. This this that that story. There's like multiple layers to that story. But one of the one of the main points is the master can't teach you everything. That's one of the main stories when the three ruffians kept saying, you know, Master Mason teach me all this, teach me all the stuff all the secrets and he was like no not no because you don't want to no because you literally can't teach someone everything mm -hmm. it's it, the point is to place your hand in a law's hand and then you live your life like mm -hmm. the masturbation can only teach you how to do that how to find a law in your heart and mm -hmm. connect these chakras you know what i mean like mm -hmm. that's that's all they can do mm -hmm. you have to do everything else yeah you know what i mean like yeah I didn't learn all this because someone told me. Mm -hmm. Books. Well, think of it <laughs> you know in I mean? terms of like your body. Mm -hmm. Someone else exercising and telling you how to exercise is not gonna make you lose weight. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> they're not gonna have any effect on your body. Mm -hmm. They can give you all the tools you need, yep. but you actually have to do it yourself. It doesn't get any simpler than that, and that's one of the stories from the high rim of Biff thing. Like, you're not gonna. You're not gonna master it just because someone told you. I can't say I can't tell you everything in this book. Mm -hmm. Not everything stuck, and I will, I'm not. I don't want to know everything in this book. Mm -hmm. It it would be to me it would be pointless to know everything in this book. Mm -hmm. But what I learned is, Moors are the ones who taught everyone. Like I, I did a post on my Facebook. Moors have been dominating the music industry for thousands of years. Mm -hmm. it, it, it talks about how. The Europeans sat at our feet to learn music and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And then look at like P. Diddy, Jay-Z, Migos, yeah. Mary J. Blige, Little Kim, like all these Moors mm -hmm. dominating the music industry. Nothing's changed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. We've been dominating everything since the beginning. It's just we forgot we were Moors. Mm -hmm. But we're, everything we still do is still Moorish. Mm -hmm. We still braid our hair. Like we were talking about like you know, our aunt and my mother, they still wrap their heads in 
wrap their heads. They don't yeah. even know, like, they're doing it because it's turbans. Like, they're just doing yeah. it because they're doing it. Like, you're practicing Moore's culture. You don't even know it. Yeah. That's even though people wearing hats. Like, that's Moore's culture. You don't even know it. came on and her head wrap and her. Yeah. And, and sheets just gown in her and, and it's like, yeah. You look exactly how you're supposed to. Look. <laughs> yeah, and then and then like they always show like the Native American Indians like naked. <laughs> My house, we don't wear clothes. Like that's our culture. Like we love the sun on us. We love being like. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, we wear clothes like underwear stuff like that. Yeah, But yeah. it's we wear as little as possible. Like read yeah. your culture. Like that's our culture. Yeah. Not because we're savages. Because we like. I like the sun on my skin. Mm -hmm. yeah. It feels good. <laughs> <laughs> Not because I'm a savage or you know, but like. The whole, the whole thing of painting us being a savage is like that's part of the European conquest. Mm -hmm. When if you just like compare, study yourself, look at what you do, mm -hmm. look at what your ancestors did. Oh, it makes sense that they didn't wear clothes. Yeah. It's, it's you so know, like, And you know how natural it is? O only my, only European people will tell me, oh, you're going to burn in the sun. And I'm like, I love taking naps in the sun. I've never got sunburned. I've never, ever <laughs> what are you talking life about? gotten sunburned. Yeah. And I'm like, that's not an issue that I deal with. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, yeah. <laughs> and, and all of this is relative to studying, mm -hmm. you know, because you'll realize like, oh, wow, they're really trying to show us with no clothes on. So we think like, oh, that's barbaric to not do that. Mm -hmm. Me meanwhile, no one in my house wears clothes. Your enemy did. And you know what? <laughs> the more melanin you have in your skin, the more sun you need for the vitamin D3, mm -hmm. which is detrimental to our health. People yep. with uh, a lot of melanin. Cause it um it helps with your blood pressure, it helps mm -hmm. with cancer, it helps with all, all these ailments. And so do, and so, so does your hair. Mm -hmm. Cause so, your hair has melanin and cannabinoids in it. So the lighter you are, or the less melanin you have, you you would only need 15 minutes in the sun, mm -hmm. and that's you would have all your vitamin D that you need for the day. Mm -hmm. Whereas darker toned people would need it at least an hour with little to no clothing. Yeah. Europeans would need 15 minutes with clothes. Yeah. And then and then that whole dynamic. They talk about the house niggas and the field niggas, the dark skinned ones were working the field. But you don't know the science of your own skin. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then back in the day we were using cotton as like a medium of exchange too. Mm -hmm. But then they want to say, oh yeah, we were picking. <laughs> but you wouldn't you wouldn't know that unless you read a book. Mm -hmm. Or you heard someone who read a book and then they, they pass that information down to you. So you don't have to search through millions of mm -hmm. books to figure that out. All you gotta do is just You let a European uh, tell you that yeah, this was a negative thing. And then what did Nas say? Nas said the problem is we started thinking like the colonists till Noble Drew Ali started dropping that consciousness. Mm -hmm. Also, another thing, our people want to live off each other, like the Europeans live off of us. We don't want to live with each other. Mm -hmm. Like there's so many, so many times I hear our people talking about we need to let's get a mortgage and a multi and then at one time I was thinking about doing this, get a multi-family house, have someone live in it, and then they'll pay the mortgage, like you know, the first floor, second floor, they'll pay the mortgage and mm -hmm. everything else would just be on me. Mm -hmm. But Read rights of indigenous people. We have the right to our land and resources back. We shouldn't be charging our people anything to live in their mm -hmm. own homes. And then the loyal tab is the only way to own land, so you don't need a mortgage on your house. Mm -hmm. But you would know that unless you study. <coughs> and mm -hmm. you wouldn't even know to think to look that up unless someone either handed it to you or you was already looking in the law book. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's there is no such thing as independent study. Mm -hmm. And if there is, you're going to be reading for years, and then you'll probably make one connection mm -hmm. within like seven years or whatever, unless. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, it's not like we're reading multiple, like, I don't know how to explain this. Like, I wouldn't know what etymology is unless I was looking in a dictionary and came across that word. Mm -hmm. or unless someone told me. Mm -hmm. or unless my destiny was to find that word. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, it's, yeah. there's no such thing as independent study. Mm -hmm. Again, Drew Ali had a teacher. He was an Egyptian Arab mm -hmm. student. Yeah. He's a prophet. He was a student. And even if you're alone in your studies, you going back and explaining it or talking about it with somebody else, mm -hmm. even if they're not as studied as you or not as aware as you, that's still a group study. You're Open still going to have a better understanding. Exactly. Yep. And, and think, even in school, there was a teacher up there. <laughs> you know, he wasn't learning this stuff by yourself. Yep. So I think that's going to help people. Like, don't think, don't think like any person Again, Drew Ali didn't just know this stuff. He was taught. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, there's, there's certain stuff we know that we're born knowing, mm -hmm. but there's certain things that we need to be taught or guided towards or yeah. lessons that we need to learn like from someone else. Yeah. It's not just, yeah, you know what? Yeah, my name is Jamal. Yeah, I, like push all these books aside and just start speaking like, yeah, I just knew this stuff. Like, 
No. No. This, it this been hours. Hard work. This this been hours. Like well, I've been in my room, because I don't have an office or anything. Like I ha before I even had a, a, a shelf, I had books on the, just stacked. And then there would be times yeah. where I had books all over my bed. I'm like, shit. Now I gotta go to sleep. Now I gotta put all these books somewhere. Like I was just flipping through books. Mm -hmm. it, it wasn't just someone told me this. I watched one lecture and then I was like, oh yeah, I know. I'm good. Yeah. You gotta work for it. Yeah. And and to kind of like, there's been people commenting on my videos like, stop trying to make it complicated and and, and you know make it simple. I'm like, what are you talking about? Mm -hmm. I'm making it as simple as I can. Just because you don't want to pick up a book and learn, don't try to put something on me, like, because you don't want to do it. Mm -hmm. and, 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 like, are people just, like, come, like, certain people will come to me and demand things. I'm like, first of all, I'm not a public servant. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Second of all, have respect when you're talking to me, because I'm a person, too. And if you come to me some type of way, I'm not going to give you the information. Mm -hmm. It's because the way you're approaching me is like, I'm obligated to tell you something. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm obligated to my people, but don't disrespect me. But you obligate yourself to your Yeah, people. exactly. And again, I'm not no elected person, mm -hmm. so don't come to me demanding stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Either you have respect, <clears throat> give respect, and I'll give you what you're asking. Don't, mm -hmm. hey, give me this, give, no, <clears throat> don't even talk to me. And it, to be honest with you, all that's unnecessary because you're coming to help the people anyway. And I'm making the videos I'm anyway, cool. like what more do you want? I help you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, it's, like, our people's mind, it, it, I've went through the same mm -hmm. schools, same, I guess, I guess it just comes down to the household, my mother just taught me different. Mm -hmm. Like, that's the only thing I could really mm -hmm. make the distinction. Because mm -hmm. I went to the same public schooling. Went to the public schooling in New York, PS whatever, I can't even remember. <laughs> went to Bailey Elementary School, downtown Providence, uh, in Southside Providence. Mm -hmm. Grew up on the south side, like the worst area of Providence. Like, I don't, I don't get where people. Are. I don't, I don't know. Like, it's I don't the get choices it. that you make for yourself because you can't even say same household because. I'm saying like same area, like same schools. What I'm saying, like. Yeah, yeah. You, you even even if you were to say say the same household, same family. Yeah, yeah. It's still it's different. The choices that you make for yourself. Mm -hmm. what, what do you want to be? Yeah. Like, how do you want to, how much respect do you have for yourself? How much, you know, how much prestige do you want for yourself? Mm -hmm. it's, those, are, those are the choices you make. I, it's not at all. Easy. Yes. Not, I, and not I don't one want to say that it's hard, but it certainly isn't easy. Yeah. And you read and you read and you read. There's a lot of things that I read and listen to that I don't get on the first time. And I just do it again. Mm -hmm. That's it. Like, like, before I started like really studying, I had the rights of indigenous people in my hand. All right, I think I told you a story. I'm not gonna talk too much because people are gonna think I'm crazy, right? <laughs> <laughs> but I, I had this in my hand. Well, maybe I didn't have it in my hand. Either I had it in my phone. My phone was in my hand. I was looking at this. I was looking at rights of indigenous people. And like, I know this applies to me. I just don't know how. Mm -hmm. And then I stumbled upon more science, right? Mm -hmm. But the thought was, I know this applies to me. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And I, and I, and I made the connections. Mm -hmm. You know, had a lot of help along the way. Teachers, you know, watching videos, books, that helps make the connections, but I knew this applied to me. Mm -hmm. You know, like, just start somewhere. <laughs> I forgot what, what my major point was, but it was <laughs> like, what, like, all right, I'll, I'll go into detail into the story. Like I, I was, I knew this applied to me. I was sitting in my room. It was dark, and then all of a sudden, like you know how in the Matrix, where like uh, Neo was in the room in the all-white room, and mm -hmm. then they uploaded the program, and then like it was like rows and rows and rows of guns. Mm -hmm. Um, that happened, but it wasn't guns. And I was standing, I was standing in the middle, and then, like there was a bunch of brown people like touching each other's shoulders. So mm -hmm. like. One person was touching other, other person's shoulder, and then someone behind would be touching their shoulder, and then I was in the middle, and everyone was touching me, mm -hmm. and it was like all my ancestors talking about this is where you need to, this is what you need to be learning, and we're proud of you. Like that, that's something that happened to me. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying you know, that was my story to, with this. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like something inside of me said this is what it is, and then my ancestors came to me and said this is what it is. Mm -hmm. 
And then I haven't stopped. <laughs> I haven't stopped learning. Mm -hmm. and, it, and learning never stops. It never, never stops. I mean, but that, that was part of, that was like one of my initial, in the situation our people in, but that's something that drove me. Like I was crying when that was happening. Like mm -hmm. that, like it was just rows and rows of people just all linking themselves to each other. And I was in the middle. Like that was powerful to mm -hmm. me. And I haven't stopped. And I'm not going to stop. Mm -hmm. I don't see a reason to stop until until I'm done, you know what I mean? Until I'm until my works are done, then I'll clearly I'm done, and then I'll go up mm -hmm. and do whatever I need to do up there. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. but these certain things are like driving forces, you know what I mean? And even with the dream that you was telling me about when we were young and that you had, uh -huh. like those are that happened back then. I was like what? 12 me? I don't even know how old I was. I know I was young, you know what I mean? You were really young. And then and then now we're in this room fulfilling what the dream was talking about. Uh-huh. Like, that's powerful stuff in our, like, there's been times where I talk to our people and they have similar things, like they talk about these epiphanies that they have or whatever, or these major things happening to them, mm -hmm. and they feel like they're crazy. Like, you're not crazy. Our yeah, people receive been, the message. Yeah, it's, our people, it's, but these Europeans are trying to teach us, like, oh no, if if you if you start seeing differently, then you're 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 this diagnosis, you're mm -hmm. you're psychotic or whatever, you know what I mean? And mm -hmm. then they give you medicine, and then it slows your brain down, and you can't think, and then you're not getting what you're supposed to be getting. Yeah, it's sad. <laughs> and then the, even the word pharmaceutical means poison. Look it up. Mm -hmm. When when you really should be learning how to receive these messages mm -hmm. and learning how to learn how to decipher. Uh, yeah, and and learning how to could manage it like mm -hmm. so you're not getting too many messages at once because mm -hmm. we got work to do here you know what I mean mm -hmm. um, and that's part of studying mm -hmm. <laughs> like study literally study yourself yeah like maybe I maybe I shouldn't be around this type of environment because I receive too much you know energy mm -hmm. you, you know what I mean like this this certain certain like out here I was going around you know doing doing things I wouldn't normally do just just to see what's going on around here you know what I mean just uh -huh. just observing and this certain energy is like nah, I can't be around that yeah uh -huh. but I had to see it you know what I mean I mm -hmm. I would unless I wouldn't know you know what uh -huh. I mean like I like um how can I explain this I'll say like empathetic mm -hmm. like I, re I feel people's pain yeah so there's certain things I can't be around because I'm yeah. not trying to be dragged down to that negative vibration. That's like being around a depressed person. Yeah, exactly. They, they're very depressed. They want you to be depressed. It's like, uh, mm -hmm. like I have people that try to be around me and they're like, oh, I have a terrible you. day. I had no yeah. money and da, da 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 And I'm like, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. And you know, it's just tough having no money. Yeah, you just said that. Because they want you to say something because they're trying to drain you. Yeah, and I'm like, you, do you want me to be depressed with you? That's not going to happen. I'm sorry that you're in the situation you're in. Mm -hmm. If I don't, I'm not sure. Do you want advice from me? Because I'm not going to impose on you. Yep. But like, I'm not going to sit here and talk about misery. Yeah. So. And just, just to go nowhere with it? Yeah. And a lot of people just want you to give them so much positivity, uh, positivity that goes into this bottomless pit of misery. And then you just drain. Mm-hmm. Yep. Same thing with the with the people trying to cause confusion. Mm -hmm. They just want you to keep battling them so you're not studying. You're yep. busy arguing their stupidity. Mm -hmm. And they against things that you. are undebatable. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. So they can lead your studies just to dispel them when you should be studying other things instead of something that is yeah, it's undebatable. Caveat the fact is there. And that's caveat mentor. It's a different realm. Get out of that room. They're they're there to test the weak minds. Mm -hmm. if, if those weak minds get devoured, mm -hmm. you, that's on them. Oh, look they're look vampires. Them. Treat yourself with some respect. Yeah. You don't have time for that. That's <laughs> Definitely it. Don't. This, this you don't have to waste your energy and time on that. Yeah. There's already too much in life to do, mm -hmm. and then you're gonna add study into it. Mm -hmm. I don't have time to argue with somebody. And we're and we gotta deal with European colonization. Oppression, genocide, terrorism, and you're worried about mm -hmm. debating whether black means pale or not. When clearly it's in, it's undebatable. What are you talking about? Why are we still having this conversation? Yeah. <laughs> so you don't even. Uh, there's there's no there's nothing else I need to say to you. Then you're incorrect. Mm -hmm. You need to go study more. Like the conversation that we had on the phone with, you know, that mm -hmm. group conversation. 
it was a bunch of emotional arguments with zero scholarship. Mm -hmm. Where do you expect this conversation to go? Mm -hmm. Honestly, mm -hmm. if, if you don't have fundamental things that deal with language, where do you expect, how do you expect any type of growth anywhere? Yeah. Like, yeah. and then, like, I don't, I don't want to go too much into, into detail, but there's no. just certain people that I talk to, and it sounds like they're coming from a sincere position, mm -hmm. but it's straight ignorance. Like, you haven't done anything to even, even try to correct the way you speak or anything. Mm -hmm. And I just don't get it. Like, it's, I, I presented something to you, and then so much time has passed, and you haven't been, been you haven't done anything with it to mm -hmm. either grow or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't get that. And it's, that's not even the first, or unfortunately, the last person. Time is going to happen, yeah. And it, and it's happened, it happens with different people. Mm -hmm. Like, not, I'm not talking about just one person or two people or three people. There's multiple people that come mm -hmm. to me with just what I told them. Mm -hmm. But you haven't looked it up. Like, what do you... Yeah. You yeah. think I'm just telling you just so I think I'm smart? Mm -hmm. No, help me. <laughs> like, there should be more people in this room having <laughs> this open, this open yeah. discussion. Like, what are we going to do about this stuff? Yeah. You know? Um, but it's, it's, I don't know. I don't get it. <laughs> I really don't. Yeah. But as far as studying, studying goes, um, when Noble Drawley said, study yourself, I took that like, yeah, study myself physically, but also study like Moore's, Moore's history. Mm -hmm. And then, um, you know, he said, come all ye Asiatics in North America, know that you're not Negro, Blacks, and colored. And then I, f and then I figured out, oh, Indians are classified as colored people. So I mm -hmm. got to study Indi Native American Indian culture too. Mm -hmm. And Native American Indian history too. And then, um, so I kind of want to go to the map and, and show like what I learned. That's so you know funny, because I mean? I, remember I told you I went to that psychic mm -hmm. and my grandmother passed me that message yeah. to study my Indian roots? Yeah. And, and she, lo and behold, you found out you ain't yeah. in. <laughs> she specifically said study, and she was sending this yep. woman teepees and feathers. and yep. Your culture. Yep. <laughs> so crazy. Yep. Now, because I, I want to go to the map. All right, let me cut so we can go yeah. to the map. Yep. So when I started like realizing, okay, Asiatics or Indians and so-called blacks, so-called Indians, so-called blacks, clearly I need to learn what's what's going on. You know what I mean? Like what is going on? Because, like I said in my in that book, I'll say it again with the Lynch manual, mm -hmm. the whole thing was to divide us in the mind. Oh, some of y'all are Indian, some of y'all ancestors died, some of y'all are black. We brought y'all over here to make up for the lie that the ancestors died, right? Mm -hmm. All these people died. And I started to see, like, you know, Virginia Colony, first Virginia Colony, 1607. And the war broke out, 1610. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, okay, something's going on. Yeah. And then even thinking about, oh, the Interceptary Divina, 1493. The whole thing was to force Christianity on people, all that kind of stuff. So, oh, that clearly there's a war going on. Clearly they're fighting that, right? Mm -hmm. And then the whole colonization, they were superimposing themselves everywhere when the treaty didn't say you get to just send shiploads of your people over here, you know what yeah. I mean? And then, you know, um, the Metacomet War, they keep calling King Philip 1675. Say, oh, that's that's connected. Mm -hmm. How can that not be connected? Mm -hmm. And then the Beaver Wars in the Great Lakes area, mm -hmm. early 1600s, right? And then later, the Pontiac Wars, same area, early 1700s, mm -hmm. and in the Northwest Ordinance of 1787. So the Beaver Wars and the Pontiac Wars are the same same wars. Mm -hmm. Same people fighting the same thing. And in the Northwest Ordinance 1787, the Euro Europeans were adopting new uh, new states, right? They were just spreading their colonial control over this over this area, yeah. our Mecca, right? And then, hmm, the Niagara Movement, 1905, same area. Mm -hmm. Same people fighting, but this time it's blacks. So the Beaver, Beaver Wars, Pontiac Wars were Indians. And now with the whole uh, Niagara movement, the blacks fighting oppression, mm -hmm. it's the same thing. Yep. And then, right, and that's this area, the Niagara movement. And then learning that they infiltrate our movements to slow it down, NAACP came out of that. And out of the Niagara movement, they were fighting the same thing, the Beaver Wars and the Pontiac Wars, those people were fighting because they're the same people. 
right? The Indian wars and the blacks, blacks and Indians fighting the same thing, right? Because after Northwest Orange in 1787, they started increasing the suppression of our people. Mm -hmm. We, it, the connections are there, <laughs> right? Just make them, right? The Niagara movement, they kept cutting our women's heads off and stuff like that and throwing them over the falls, the Nigger Falls. And then they infiltrated it and created the NAACP, the National Advancement Association, whatever, of colored people. And then colored people can't own property. And then the Beaver Ward, Pontiac Wars, they were still in this area to control this area. Mm -hmm. It's, how could you not see that? So again, study, study, study. Study the Indian history and the so-called black history because the Beaver Wars and the Pontiac Wars mm -hmm. and then the Ni Niagara Movement, it's, there is no difference. Mm -hmm. There is no difference. And the more you read, the more you'll see yeah. that. Yep. And it's then, like now I'm calling you, I'm like, what are they? Oh, I know what you're actually talking about. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Yep, because mm -hmm. they, they, they don't, they tell it, but they code it. Mm -hmm. And you just have to know, you have to decode it, like the Matrix. Yeah. They, like, like, uh, like when I'm reading all this stuff, like, because it goes into so much, like, certain wars, like, it'll tell you so much happened. Like, some of that you don't need to know, like, all of it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and again, with the Matrix, when I think Neo was asking whoever, like, oh, how do you see it? Oh, I just see code. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Just, you just got to decipher it. Like, you, you're not going to need to know every little thing. This person fought that person because that person's brother did this. Nah. Mm -hmm. You know, just real, I realized, oh, Beaver Wars is a continuation of the Pontiac Wars. Like, it's the same area, same people. There's no difference. They're just calling it something else to confuse you. Yeah. So, <laughs> this area, Beaver Wars, 1600s. And then early 1700s, Pontiac Wars. You think that that's a different people? <laughs> and then the Niagara, Ni Niagara Movement, brown skinned people. You think that's a different people? No, Jamal. Everybody got up and left and Yeah, the yeah. Same. And they disappeared. <laughs> like, that's like saying, also what they do is, like, they, with the areas, or like the, the, the Ottoman Empire, and the Sumerians, and, and the Moors, they'll say they're different people. That's like saying, these people and these people are different. Yeah. You, you believe that? Oh yeah, uh, so let's just, as an example, let's say, oh yeah, the, um, oh, the, the Yemesi Empire <coughs> was overthrown by the Anianwia Empire, and now they're different people in, the, what do you... How? They're on the same chunk of land. They themselves said, this is the border, this is the line. So now that you made a line, suddenly yeah. you're of different origin? All, all these lines right here don't exist. Mm-hmm. Like, as an example, the Narragansett Confederation controlled, right? Mm -hmm. They sat here, they controlled here, all of that. They controlled all of that. All of that. That's what the Narragansett controlled. All of this. And yes, part of this little island right here, all of this. Mm -hmm. And look how they divided, the Europeans divided it up. Yeah. And they've done that everywhere. There's no difference. Mm -hmm. They've done it everywhere. Mm -hmm. You just gotta know you're not Indian and black. And just read the history for what it is. Mm -hmm. That was my main point. Like, how could you think? <laughs> just again, the Beaver Wars and the Pontiac Wars. How can you think they're different wars? Mm -hmm. That doesn't even make sense. They're in the same area. The people didn't go anywhere. Mm -hmm. Just the same thing with the empires. How do you think that the Ottoman Empire isn't the Moorish Empire? Yeah. How do you think the Phoenicians aren't Moors? Mm -hmm. How do you think the Saracens aren't Moors? Yeah. What? Just rename and rename. Yeah, and then Reclassify. and then even these people of Bodhi Kain, they'll say they're Indian. They say India. Mm -hmm. I'm a Puerto Rican Indian. Mm -hmm. And then they'll they'll name the tribes, oh, I'm a Cherokee Indian. They say India. Yeah. <laughs> like it's, it's it's like. I get I get it right. I get when people don't have the the information, they're confused. But there's certain things like this land was never India, so clearly you're not Indian. Mm -hmm. it, it, nowhere ever did our ancestors ever, ev yeah. our ancestors never said this land is India. Mm -hmm. So yeah. again, how can you, let's go to the law dictionary. Because these people, these so-called Indians say that they've been here anciently. But it's like, one, how do you, why are you calling yourself what Yeah, and we're going to, we're going to dispel that. Yeah, exactly. And two, why? You knew there was a name before that. Don't your people have records? 
This is this Wait, is how they hold on. This is how they play it. They say, "Oh, it's oral tradition." Oral tradition. So you tell me you never wrote nothing down? Come on. They. That, that's their excuse. The Cherokee people had the first uh, alphabet yeah, and, and, and script. Exactly. So you you just throw out that whole oh oral tradition because they're. We can't mm -hmm. tell you everything because we want the power because we want to be your chief and your sagamores and we want mm -hmm. you to join our tribe and get this tribal ID so we can sell you to the Europeans and not control our state because we're sellouts. Mm -hmm. But, right, immemorial, right? Let, let's look, look it up in the law dictionary because they claim we've been here immemorially, the Indians, mm -hmm. right? Let's look up what immemorial means in the law book. I knew I should have brought the fifth edition. I was looking at it and I didn't bring it. Immemorial. This is Black's Law Dictionary, 4th edition. And this is of, for the record, right? Oops. Ancient. Ancient and modern. Right? Definitions of the terms and phrases of American and English jurisprudence. So there's a difference between American and English. Why? Because we're Moors. Ancient and modern. Ancient. Modern. See that connection? Mm. <laughs> right? Immemorial. Beyond human memory. Time out of mind. So, if the word Indian didn't apply to you until 1492, how does any Indian have any immemorial connection to this land? They don't. Literally the word applied in 1492 and that's where it start, started, therefore that's where it ends. Mm -hmm. But Omec, you can tie that to Amexum. You can tie that to American, you can tie that to Moor, you can tie that to Al Moroccan, you can tie that to Moorish, but you're gonna say Indian, and then clearly we know the history, it didn't apply to you until 1492 and you're still gonna say you're Indian, mm -hmm. and then the state records mistaken as Indian. So if the, if the so called Indian are fighting for all these rights, it's a game. why don't they fight for their proper name? Because they're sellout. Well, the leaders are sellouts. So, and if you're, under, you're gonna understand nationality, you need your proper name. Right to self determination, and this is and this is where they say, oh, uh, the Cherokee Nation, the Narragansett Nation, the Wampanoag Nation. Mm -hmm. They're they're trying to make it seem like it's a game. It's a game for the people who don't know, mm -hmm. who don't know that this is all one nation. Uh -huh. All these people, one nation, mm -hmm. not Cherokee Nation, Narragansett Nation, that nation. No, uh -huh. we're all Moors. Moorish American is the nationality. That's uh -huh. the nation. Your tribe or whatever family name, that's... So when the Europeans came over here, you only owned that little chunk of land? Yeah. Dumb. So you're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna say we didn't have the whole thing? And then, again, if you know constitutional law, states can't enter into treaties. Why? It's a federal jurisdiction. Mm -hmm. My family can't enter into a treaty and then it applies to that person's family. Mm -hmm. yeah. But again, oh yeah, it's, it's all oral tradition. Because they, cause they don't want to show you a record. Yeah. Because this is a record. Clearly, you can't deny that. So mm -hmm. they'll say oral tradition. And then they'll, they'll, say, they'll say we're inhabitants or residents. They, they won't say that this is our domicile, national domicile. Because they don't want you to know that there's a difference. Mm -hmm. Domicile is fixed and permanent home. Mm -hmm. Residence or habitat is just bodily presence. Europeans are residents here. Mm -hmm. This ain't their fixed and permanent home. They're not from here. Mm -hmm. You see the difference? Yeah. The, the Indians and the black people ain't gonna make the distinction because they want you to follow them. They don't want you to put your hand in a lost hand and be like, yep, yeah, be war, upon that wars, and give you the history and start teaching people because then they go broke. Mm -hmm. And they can't sell you to the Europeans for... It's so funny, we, we live here in Rhode Island. Well, it's not Rhode Island. You live in your body. <laughs> we, you live in your body. But we don't <laughs> learn any of these wars. We learn all these European yeah, yeah. wars. Yeah. And this this disputes that happen right here mm -hmm. on this land and I don't know anything about it because they tell you it's Indian mm -hmm. and they and then so Europeans tell us that all oh, that's Indian stuff you're black you don't don't worry about that mm -hmm. but it's the other half of your history <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean yeah that's that's why but why wouldn't you learn the history of the wars of the land that you're standing on well, you wouldn't think to because you think just because you can pronounce it. words, you know how to read. And then our people are taught this arrogantness, and then our people don't have anything. So they try to be like, yeah, I know something because they, they think mm -hmm. like that's 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 it. You know what I mean? Like, I can say I know something, so I have something now. You can't take that away from me. That's why our people are so emotional. Because mm -hmm. 
because they want to they want to say they want to act like they're conscious and not be it because mm -hmm. they're they're cowards they're, they're like scared you know the european took everything away from them they don't mm -hmm. have nothing even though this is all ours mm -hmm. and we think we don't have nothing draw lee said we're the richest people on this planet because mm -hmm. our people don't know that this is their land they don't know mm -hmm. that so, <laughs> like it's it's so much there's multiple sicknesses and you know, but again, the Bible, my people perish by the day for the lack of knowledge. Not belief, not faith, it's knowledge. Mm -hmm. Know that, know that, know that the Beaver Wars, Pontiac Wars, the Niagara Movement, same people. Mm -hmm. Therefore, those NAACP members are really Aboriginal people, not blacks from no colored land or nothing. And again, colored people can't own property. Christian Black Codes, Article 22. Colored means something fake. Stained, varnished, or dyed. It's a civilly dead status. You can't own anything. What more? What more do you want? Mm -hmm. Now learn all of that. Come to class, and we'll talk about. Hey, let's 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 make a newspaper. Let's put out this information. Mm -hmm. So it's not just me and my printer doing it. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. You know, and let's get. Let's tell people what's really going on. Mm -hmm. But no, you wanna. Oh, well, yeah, so-and-so said this, or Jamal said that, and then, hey, Jamal, fight this battle for me because I can't go as far as, because mm -hmm. I don't study on my own. I only go as far as what you told me. You yeah. Stop. Why? Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, that, that's, <laughs> like, when I first, when I learned, when I seen that, I was like, hold up. You know, five senses. I started thinking, like, hold up. And it didn't take this long, but I was like, hmm, be wars. Pontiac Wars, that was the 1600s, and then Roger Williams, 1636, and the Baptist Church, 1638, mm -hmm. and then the, they were all rebelling, and then Christian Black Codes, well, Willie Lynch Manual to combat the rebellious Moors, mm -hmm. and then Christian Black Codes, 1724, hold, hold up. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing the things you find. Yeah. It's amazing, like, when I was uh, looking for, like, history, on this Narragansett area, mm -hmm. I was just like, why does everything stop in the late 1500s? Is like, you'd be lucky if you find something in the late 1500s, yeah. 1600s. Yep. And that's, go ahead, finish. Yes, yeah, and I'm like, would it history not exist then? Yeah, because <laughs> <they, laughs> like, oh, what the Europeans are trying to do is make it seem like, oh yeah, they started doing it. Like, yeah. they found it, everything. But, like, but uh, then I'm like, how are we signing treaties before then? Right. So right. from that chunk, so you were here, right? Yep. And then now you have all these books starting 1500s. Yep. Well, let's say 16, because you really can't find 1500s. Mm -hmm. It's like, okay, all that time passed. This fuckery gone on. Where's all the? And that's and that's. First of all, I want to talk about how were we savages and signing treaties? Mm -hmm. How were we dumb? Yeah, if you look up history of the Narragansett, Narragansett, we have one of the best commercial systems like out there like doing commerce we, mm -hmm. it was one of the best and they the Europeans admit it right mm -hmm. so how are we signing treaties and dumb and savages and barbarians mm -hmm. and then the reason why we can't find books is the index librorum prohibitorum and index librorum expurgatorius meaning certain books are prohibited and certain stuff they're not going to talk about mm -hmm. certain, like they're not going to talk about this is the nation not each little tribe is the you know what yeah. I mean? Because they want you to divide it. <laughs> they're not gonna they're not gonna talk about that. Yeah. They're not gonna talk about how states can't enter into treaties, so any treaty that so called Indians have with the state isn't real. Mm -hmm. They're not gonna talk about how, you know, the the uh, the tribes may have given a deed of trust, but a deed of trust isn't ownership. They're not gonna talk about Indian title isn't ownership. They're not gonna talk about mortgage isn't ownership, but they're gonna talk about our great tribe, my ancestor was this person and <laughs> Well, at the same time, trying to say, oh, no, they were stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, how, and, and how then, could that and be? Then say, and say, yeah, it's oral tradition, so we didn't really have any records. Yeah. Don't you got family records right now? So what are you talking about? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But they use that oral tradition as an excuse. Yeah. It's an excuse. It's like, so. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a real, it's not There's legitimate. such thing as a language in alphabets. Yeah. How did you all have different languages? How did you all have your own alphabets? But oh, because it was oral tradition. We just... We just <laughs> what were you writing down then? <laughs> it was oral tradition. <laughs> like, come on! <laughs> Are people really like, come on, don't believe that. Yeah. What? The, what? What works like that? 
Mm -hmm. Nothing works like that. Yeah, In yeah, school, yeah. you didn't just listen to your teacher and you learned, you had to write stuff down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dumb. <laughs> Don't be dumb. Don't be dumb. Mm -hmm. Being, if you're dumb, you're, you're choosing to be dumb. Mm -hmm. Being dumb is, is, a, is a choice and it's an excuse. Mm -hmm. um, that is definitely an excuse. I, I can't tell you how many people tell me, well, I'm not as smart as you. I'm dumb. No, you're just lazy. You're dumb because you're saying it. Man is mine. So if you mm -hmm. think it, that's what you're going to be. But well, yeah, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I don't know, man. Just, I feel like it doesn't get simpler than that. Yeah, you just, just start. Yeah. Just start. You want to end? Yeah, I'm getting right there and then sit down. I'll sit down. Oh, uh, you, you said book, books on women, right? Yeah. In this book, it goes over. This woman right on the back. It goes over how uh, women were leading battles too. Mm -hmm. Like, the only reason why, like, the king is mentioned so much is A, when the Europeans, you know, started doing stuff, started, you know, their world conquest, they started getting us away from nature. Nature is matriarch, women runs everything. So they set it up so that the men are, you know, the patriarch that's out of nature so they did it to a get us out of nature and then another reason why the king is only mentioned is because we dealt with more like the war side because we're mm -hmm. more aggressive yeah so it's, it's more appealing to the eye to say oh the king went to war and dominated this kingdom and that boom, 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 boom. Mm -hmm. but like as an example the movie 300 with the europeans the greeks yeah leonidas looked at his woman first before he kicked so and so in the hole mm -hmm. he had to get confirmation from her first mm -hmm. the, the Council of Women. Yeah, you're gonna right. ride with this, uh, the consequences of the decision that, yeah, that I want to make? He looked at the queen, she was like, yup, and then, and then he did it. Mm -hmm. And it's always like that. Behind every great man, there's a what? Even greater woman. That saying it doesn't just exist for nothing. Mm -hmm. our, people needs, our people keep thinking like Christians. Christian in the European Constantine aspect, not Christian as in the Krishna, you know, mm -hmm. Activation of your pineal gland, but Christian as in like the patriarch, dominate women, stupid stupidity, mm -hmm. ego stupidity. And that's what's making it so hard for women to fall into their natural role. Yeah, and that's that was the whole Willie Lynch thing mm -hmm. to get our men all confused. Mm -hmm. And now some of our men are really confused. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, oh, it, it's it's crazy the way the language is changing, and now now that I'm studying, I can see it. Like yeah. this new thing with the music they say that's a bop what yeah if, if, like, if there's a good song they say it's a that's a bop that's and i'm like that's a bop yeah that's like fellatio services yeah. like, what <laughs> i'm like what and, and they say yeah that's a bop like the man purse is going crazy now like what I, like louis vuitton gucci or whatever it's like has this it's a fucking purse <laughs> and i'm like they, they're wearing it because they're like oh it's a thousand dollars what are you gonna put in there yeah. I got my phone and my wallet, no longer have. my keys and my pick. And my uh -huh. like, I don't need no purse. Like, what do you need a purse for? Yeah. That's... Uh, it's, it's insane. Uh, why don't you just carry a briefcase? Yeah. Or a backpack. Yeah. Like... A purse, though? What are you going to carry in a purse? Like, makeup? Like, I don't understand what... It's not funny at all. Yeah, but I don't it's understand what you could possibly fit in there that you need. I know somebody's going to come up with a stuck of money. Like, you, do you need that? For what? Yeah. I, I carry a backpack around me because I always have books then, I'm reading. What, what did Noble Jr. Ali say? What did Paul Prophet say? Right? Money doesn't make the man. It's free national principles that make a man. Right? Money doesn't make the man. It is free national standards and power that makes a man and a nation. The wealth of all national governments, gold and silver and commerce. The wealth of all national governments, gold and silver and commerce belong to the citizens alone. I just want to say that, but... What do you what do you care about all this paper for? That doesn't make you anything. Mm -hmm. You're just falling to the European trap that yeah. they want you to be in. Because guess who controls that paper? The Europeans. Mm -hmm. So guess who controls you? The Europeans. Yeah, wealthy would be. You see that big thing of land over there? That's mine. Wealthy would be. Like our people always talk about the black dollar. Mm -hmm. Wealthy would be we have our own fiat. Yeah. That we use as a media of exchange between us only. But you wouldn't, 
You can't talk about the black dollar and not talk about the Federal Reserve Act, uh, well, uh, yeah, Federal Reserve Act of 1933, or going to the fact that money, Federal Reserve notes, literally, in the law dictionary says it does not embrace notes. Federal Reserve notes isn't money. Mm -hmm. And it literally says note right on it. Mm -hmm. And I'm only carrying this because I'm forced to. Why? Because our people are so concerned about being black and carrying man purses that we're not talking about national issues. It says, Federal Reserve note right here. This isn't money. Mm -hmm. So you can't talk about the black dollar and not talk about this. The fact that this isn't money. Right? It's, it's like there's real issues going on. Our people are just dumb. <laughs> being dumb by choice, not because they're naturally dumb. Being dumb by choice, and you know, part of it is inquisition operations. But still, mm -hmm. like I didn't, need, I didn't need to be told that this isn't money for me to not chase this. Like, this yeah. isn't important to me. Mm -hmm. This doesn't make Jamal who Jamal is. Mm -hmm. I do that, not this. Yeah, dumb, dumb. That's dumb. And I'm insulting our people to their face. That's dumb. Thinking that that's gonna make you something. I didn't need Drew Ali's work to tell me that. Mm -hmm. That was just a re, uh, a re, uh, you know, reaffirming what I already knew. Yeah. Right? It's like you must know it only has the value that society gives it. it and it's so not even what society agree. gives it. It's what the Europeans, Europeans who control yeah. it give it now. Mm -hmm. So now, and Drew Ali again, he said a beggar nation can't, you know, rise to their highest in spirituality. The Europeans control that fiat dot note that I just showed that isn't money. Why do you think that you're gonna get more than them when they print it? How are you gonna talk about the black dollar when someone else controls it? Mm -hmm. And it's not even a dollar, a dollar is gold. So these black leaders, again, aren't teaching anyone anything. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, <laughs> a, a, it's like, we can't even have regular conversations with our people because they don't have the fundamentals. They yeah. don't know that that piece of paper isn't money. Yeah. But they're gonna talk about how we need so much money to do this. No, we don't, we need people. And the, it's funny that you say that because the more you study, the more you start to naturally distance yourself from everybody. It's like it's could, oh, not everybody, just those who are yeah, yeah. not come from any mm -hmm. type of scholarship at all. Yep. Yep. That's what it is. Because I'm like, I'm finding it uh, that people are, it's harder for people to have a conversation with me now. Because yeah. you're not into small talk. You're not no, a small person. You're not I small can't. minded. I can't. I don't want to talk about the weather. I don't want to talk about sports. Look outside, that's the weather, what do you talk about it for? What are you studying? What did you learn today? Yep. And I get the response, oh, I'm not in school. You don't have to be in school to learn. That sounds it's, so it's ridiculous. So, it's so sad and it sucks so much. Mm -hmm. Like, it sucks so much. And then, pe <sighs> like, oh yeah, I can't stop working because I've got to pay these bills. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's fine that you think it's a bill. It's fine that you think you're paying any type of debt with this Federal Reserve mm -hmm. note. Now let's talk about the rights of indigenous people that states you don't have to pay anybody anything. Mm -hmm. this, this, this isn't deep scholarship. Mm -hmm. Not at all, right? I'm always going to bring this up because this is always an issue. Paying these so-called Europeans, heat, gas, electricity, water, this is always a big issue. Mm -hmm. Because it is. This isn't deep. This is not deep. Mm -hmm. You don't got to... This isn't, this isn't deep. This is as surface as you can get. <laughs> Inter-American Declaration on the... So for all those, because, you know, we try to talk to our people to get them on this knowledge. They think they're black, Negro, color, whatever. This isn't deep, what I'm about to say. Inter-American definition on the right... on Inter-American Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous People. This is what the other Americans, the Brazilians, the Chileans, the Mexicans, this is what they're saying who an indigenous person is. We already know Mexicans are Aboriginal Americans. We already, we, that's not up for debate. They're Americans. They're saying, Section 1, Indigenous Peoples, a definition. In this declaration, Indigenous Peoples are those who embody historical con uh, continuity with societies which existed prior to the conquest and settlement of their territories by Europeans. That's not confusing as well as peoples brought in voluntarily to the new world who freed themselves and cultures from which they've been torn. It's a typo, it's a, and, it re, and who freed themselves and reconnected back to cultures from which they've been torn. So again, declare your nationality. Mm -hmm. Don't our people think that they were brought over here involuntarily? Yeah. So therefore, black people are indigenous people, right? Mm -hmm. You can't get any simpler than that. Yeah. That, 
And this was approved by the Inter-American Commission on Human Rights on February 26, 1997. This isn't new. It's 133rd session, 95th regular session, right? Mm -hmm. So that means black people are considered indigenous people by definition. Yeah. Doesn't rights of indigenous people say indigenous people have the right to their lands and resources back, so therefore they don't have to pay any European any type of anything? Mm -hmm. Is that confusing? Mm -hmm. It is? No, no, it's not at all. So, what? <laughs> so what? And you don't, and, and people don't even want to read it. Not even that, I, I'm telling you so you don't have to read it. Mm -hmm. so, so let's organize mm -hmm. and get our people to stop paying rent yeah. to these Europeans. Yeah. But no. Let's get our nation together. And you want to talk about, you want to talk about I don't even know what you want to talk about. And this ain't a knock on nobody. You want to talk about making music. Oh, everybody's a rapper now. Yeah. It's so ridiculous. How are all y'all rappers? Mm -hmm. None of y'all want to be statesmen, politicians. None of y'all want to do none of that? Mm -hmm. and, yeah. and the issue I find is they'll go to those other blacks who are running for, like, whatever, and they're not teaching them nothing. They're just saying things. Yeah. Like, I, I just don't get it. I really don't get it. Yeah. How come they're not? How come those black leaders aren't saying this? Mm -hmm. They're talking about the situation of people in. How come they're not saying so-called blacks are indigenous people? And I just proved it by definition. Mm -hmm. How come they're not saying that? Yeah. yeah. I know why, but this is how our people should be thinking. How come they're not saying that? Mm -hmm. And then hold them to this. How come you didn't say this? Yeah. Oh well, oh, I didn't know. Oh, you didn't know, so that means you're incompetent. So you shouldn't be running for any position. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. to me. <laughs> To me, it's clear. Mm -hmm. Like, clearly, if you ain't talking about this, either you don't know or you're an enemy. Because mm -hmm. if I can find it, and I didn't go to no college, you mm -hmm. know, these universities, and they got these degrees, and, and they're not talking about this? What, what did you yeah. learn then? <laughs> exactly. You know, but this isn't deep scholarship. No. It's right on the internet surface. And, and it's the first, it's the first one. It's the first article. Yeah. You could you could skip all of this. The preamble, you could skip that. We already know there's a problem. We already know they're talking about addressing issues. Mm-hmm. Like. <laughs> like. I don't I don't see how anyone can't get this. Yeah. It's either they're choosing not to get it or. Th that's it. It's laziness. It's yeah, but this, this, again, I'm always going to bring this up. There's people who I know who are homeless right now. Mm -hmm. If it wasn't for the situation I'm in, I would be homeless. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So if you already got nothing to lose, try <laughs> something new. Because what you've been trying has not been working. Right there. And the only issue is these blacks and Indians won't talk about this. Mm -hmm. Sellouts. Watch any watch any any of these so-called Indians and so-called black people speak. Mm -hmm. They won't talk about this. No. No. And the minute you start to get on it, I'm out of here. <laughs> Conversation over. Because they're losing money. Mm -hmm. And it ain't even money. You, you literally won't have to pay anything, any bills, any heat bill, any water mm -hmm. bill, any gas bill. Just proclaim your nationality. Yeah. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all these things shall be granted unto you. Mm -hmm. Seek ye first your nationality and all your rights will be granted to you. I don't know how anybody would want to settle for... Less? <laughs> yeah, it's just, it baffles me because I'm like, you're a quote-unquote black leader. Mm -hmm and you settle for whatever scraps they told you you were going to have. Yeah. And even, even if it, even if to you it's not scraps, knowing and, that you can have everything and then you and tell them what they can have. And that's the thing. Our people have nothing, so they think, they think, they think, oh yeah, finally a black person's running for whatever and they think that's great. 
Because mm. they don't they don't realize they have an estate. This is your land. I'm talking about the leader in the first place. Yeah, I, I know. Have everything. Yeah, but they're sellouts. They already know. That's why they wear the Morris uh, the Morris Pheasant secret. So, yeah. They already know. <laughs> <laughs> the issue is the believers who don't know who are supporting them. And and half it half half. Half of what I see is the reason why they're supporting them is because they're saying they're going to do all the work and, and they don't want to do the work. Yeah, yeah. But these guys are selling you out. Mm -hmm. And the work isn't hard. The work is just mental. Just use your brain. Mm -hmm. It's going to, it's going to like, you, the gears, you got you to gotta like unclog the gears so there's going to be some struggle. But once those gears are un, you yeah, know, un, unrotted, you put oil on it, you know what I mean? You, you're taking care of the gears. Then it's just gonna run fine. Just use this, <laughs> you know. It's there for a reason. Yeah. Like Mal Malcolm X, he'll have he'll have his finger like this. Mm -hmm. You'll you'll see like a lot of a lot of our people do this. They're pointing yeah. to this. Why are they pointing to this? What's in there that they're pointing at? Mm -hmm. Use your brain. And then um, we're talking about the black leaders. Yeah. Um, let me see if I go out of the way. Did I did I not bring it? That's weird. really weird if I didn't bring it. I don't know where it would be. I keep everything in here. Aha, um. uh -huh, there it is. This is the congressional record. This is on this is on the 14th Amendment. Don't these black leaders talk about the 14th Amendment? Some of these Indians talk about 14th Amendment too thinking that, you know, the so-called slaves were 14th Amendment citizens now, talking about they're part of the union or whatever. This is a congressional record, right? This is uh, United States of America congressional record, proceedings and debates of the 90th Congress, first session, volume 113, part 12, June 12, 1967 to June 20th, 19, pages 15309 to 16558. This is what they have on the record. These so-called black leaders talking about 14th Amendment civil rights stuff. Yeah. I'm just going to get straight to the point. The 14th Amendment is unconstitutional. What does that mean? It's not law. <laughs> unconstitutional. What's that mean? It's not law. What's that mean? Stop arguing 14th Amendment anything because mm -hmm. it doesn't exist. Right. Texas rejected the 14th Amendment on October 27th, 1866. Georgia rejected the 14th Amendment on November 9th, 1866. Florida rejected the 14th Amendment. Alabama, North Carolina, Arkansas, Kentucky. Hence, this amendment has not been proposed by two thirds of both houses of a legally constituted Congress and is not const constitutionally legitimate before a single legisl uh, legislator for ratification. What does that mean? The 14th Amendment is not law. Doesn't exist. It's not constitutional. Therefore, you're not a 14th Amendment citizen. That's why Drew Ali said the 14th and 15th Amendment would not be necessary for the salvation of my people. Mm. Virginia rejected it. Louisiana rejected it. Delaware rejected it. Maryland, Mississippi, Ohio, New Jersey. How come black people ain't talking about this? Mm hmm. Hmm. But they want to be your leader. Oh. Why? Because they want followers. Because they want to stroke their ego. The Constitution strikes the 14th Amendment with nullity. Hmm. What's that mean? It's not law. It's null and void. Unenforceable. Doesn't exist. 